Ukraine has received the third simulator of an F-16 fighter jet from the Czech Republic, according to Ukraine's Air Force. And while Ukraine is strengthening, the Russian telegram channel Asta reported on an attack on the temporarily occupied Crimea on May 15th, which destroyed an S-400 air defense complex, two MiG-31 fighters and a fuel depot, supposedly by Atacams missiles. Ukraine is making Crimea untenable for Russian forces, denying Russia the use of the decisive terrain of the war. Nowhere for Russians to hide their HQs, logistics, aircraft, naval facilities on this peninsula, which is the same size as Massachusetts. Ben Hodges, former commander of the US Army in Europe on the X social network. On April 30th, another missile attack on three military units and the Jankoy airfield in Crimea was reported. However, the Russian Ministry of Defense stated in a briefing that air defense systems had shot down six Atacams missiles. Probably it was the debris that destroyed Russian targets and nothing more. On May 19th, Russians claimed yet again that nine Atacams missiles and one UAV had been successfully destroyed over the territory of Crimea. By the way, according to real eyewitnesses, three Atacams missiles hit a pier in the occupied Sevastopol, where the Russian small missile ship Tsiklon was stationed, causing its destruction. One of the main tasks for the armed forces of Ukraine is destroying Russia's military force in the occupied Crimea, so that when F-16s arrive, it would be easier to hit Russian targets. Reported by Babos Tenmach, Diana Avchar, UATV News.